As of 2016, 30% of America's schools use school-issued mobile devices for each student, just a portion of the 70% of schools that have tablets and computers available throughout their school. This poses a question that appears more and more throughout media. How necessary are libraries in schools that are so widely technology-based? My name is Taylor Smith. I am here at James Buchanan High School where every student knows firsthand what it means to have technology in your curriculum. Everybody here has a school-issued laptop, but not everybody has the same opinion of them. Uh, I like digital copies uh, better just because you don't have to carry the extra book around in school. I prefer hard copies better than digital copies just because I like having an actual book in front of me not looking off my computer screen all day. Many classrooms have converted their textbooks to, from paper to online and a majority of research is done online. Very rarely do students report going to libraries and checking out encyclopedias when all the world's information is at their fingertips. In fact, some high schools making budget cuts have considered their libraries as unnecessary resources. However, in many schools that do work with technology on this level, students and teachers alike find the space very important for various resources and collaboration. When students have study halls, um, sometimes they like to be in a library setting because it's a little more casual and if they're working on a project, they feel that they can collaborate a lot more easily. The means of communication, the means of collaboration, uh, traditionally stem from a library as a hub in an educational institution. I, I don't think that has changed. The tools have changed, but I don't think that we need to lose that learning space just because everything is being digitized. It has also been noted that cutting the library would not save any significant amount of money due to the fact that resources are changing so significantly every day. 